So after being in hospitals for about three months, here are the hardest parts about the job by far. Number one is struggling with disposition. As a hospitalist, your main job is not only to take care of that patient, but also move them to the next course or place of action. So that may be discharging them home, or if it's somebody who needs rehab or some kind of long-term facility, then helping and working with the social workers to coordinate that. Often, as you can imagine, when patients are uninsured or if they don't like the options that their insurance is approving of, you deal with patients who are just stuck in the hospital for not medicine, but simply social disposition issues. And that can be easily defeating, especially when you have to see the patient over and over again, there's really no medicine that you're doing and that's ultimately the reason you signed up to be a physician. And on the flip side, you may have a patient who has a clear place to go, but one thing is holding them up. Maybe they have urinary retention, so they have to go with the Foley, but the facility doesn't allow it. Or maybe the hospital just makes them delirious and now they're agitated. The only way you can fix them is getting them out of the hospital, but the facility won't take them because they're agitated. You can start to see how this becomes a catch-22 of tons of issues of dealing with patients, not for the medical purposes, but simply because dealing with facilities, insurance, and approval. Really frustrating.